Okay, it's vlog number three, and the washing machine is on. And so is the tumble dryer. The Lego Build live stream has now been scheduled. We've got three hours to get ready, so I'm gonna go and grab a shower and get changed. The event has also been tweeted out, so hopefully we should get some viewers. This is the last item I built online with Slav in a live hangout. Did you see? If not, I'll provide a link in the description below where you can check this video out. Okay, so I've got just over an hour before the live stream starts, so I'm just going to quickly pop to the shop and get a few things I need. Okay, so when I finish the after show from the uh, live broadcast, um, I've got a video to edit. Um, I've got two more things to record as well for the main channel, but um, I'll probably do them tomorrow now. Anyway, I better unmute myself and unmute everybody else and uh, carry on talking to them. I don't want to seem unsociable. The sound bar video has now been edited and uploaded to YouTube, so that's now live, as well as the live show that I did earlier. It's going to be time to go and get some sleep soon, because it's getting quite late. And then I'll have two more recordings to do tomorrow, and then I'll get those uploaded to YouTube and scheduled to go out at different points throughout the week. Okay, so that last clip was the camera pointing at the screen. Is that the kind of thing you want to see? Shaky cameras looking at screens? Or would it be too overproduced if I actually screen recorded stuff like that when it comes to taking stuff from the computer? Let me know in the description below. Also, talking about little adjustments, I did make a Twitter account, especially for the vlog channel. But I'm kind of having second thoughts about that now. And I'm thinking that it might be best if I just stick to the one Twitter account to cover the main channel and the vlog channel because it's just going to be a pain in the backside keep swapping backwards and forwards from each one. So, uh, yeah, just let me know your thoughts on those because at the end of the day, you're the viewer and you need to let me know what you want to see. Okay, so I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Normally, I used to make these in the clamshell style um, sandwich toasters. But um, a certain young lady called Diana Prillo on her channel, um, she showed a way of making it the way I'm doing it now, using a skillet or a griddle pan. And it's a lot easier to make, and it's a lot easier to clean up afterwards. So... I'm just going to show you how I make them, courtesy of Diana Prudder. Okay, so as you can see I've buttered the bread, I'm just going to put some cheese slices on there. And as you can see I've pre-cut these to size. And the uh, skillet is already on a medium heat. So then all I need to do is butter the one side of the bread on the outside, once we've made the cheese sandwich. And you just need to do it very, very, very lightly. And then place it butter side down onto the skillet. And then just lightly butter the top. And then once that's nice and golden brown on the bottom, just turn it over. Okay, so you haven't got to do the agonizing four minute wait. I will fast forward this for you. Okay, so that's had a couple of minutes on that side now, just check underneath. It just needs a little longer. Okay, so let's just check underneath. Okay, so that's nice and golden brown. Turn it over and let it sizzle away. Now I just keep it a couple of minutes on the other side, and then we should be ready to eat. Okay, so let's just check the bottom now. 
There we go. And that is absolutely perfect. So that's now ready to serve. If you like grilled cheese sandwiches or cheese toasties, then try this way. I highly recommend it. One is going to sleep now. Catch you in the next vlog. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share this video with everyone you know.